the Electrocore inaugural Formula Lightning race. Here was your starting lineup from qualifying earlier. Mark Folkert for Notre Dame starting on the pole. In the second row, Mike McGovern and Larry Crosser. In the third row, Paxton Mendelson and Richard Harrison. In row four, Burt Young, Gene Cosmano, who is 71 years young, and Jim Urshaw rounding out the field. They qualified earlier about a $50,000 race car here uh, powered by battery. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it certainly didn't slow those guys talking down in the infield because you can't hear them running around here. These things are <laughs> extremely quiet. Uh, you don't realize how much you miss the noise in automobile racing until there isn't any. Well, your leader right now is Notre Dame University out of South Bend, Indiana. Look at this. We've got a pass down there. Can't tell who that is. Number eight passing number nine. Actually, the number nine car... That is a car that's powered by a couple of motors. Most of these cars only have one motor, but the number nine car, I believe, has a pair of motors. Yeah, this, uh, that's the Arizona State. In fact, Arizona State, not with two, they have four motors in the car. The Wright State entry has two motors. There is car number 11. That is the Ohio University entry out of Athens, Ohio. Jim Earnshaw is the driver of that one. These cars qualified at upwards of uh, 88 miles an hour. Uh, Mark Folkert, who is a Formula Atlantic driver driving for the University of Notre Dame, qualified at over 88.8 .8 miles an hour. There is your uh, speed, trap speed at the end of the front straightaway. And once again, this is only the second outing for these cars. They ran an exhibition at Cleveland prior to the IndyCar. Dave, maybe you can get some more information for us down there. Ernie Holden is the guy who has helped put this whole show together. It's really neat and exciting, and it's a little unusual to hear him so quiet. Tell me the rationale behind this. What's the goal in running electric cars on a racetrack? Well, Electricor has brought us here, and we're all working with the Department of Energy and Goodyear to try to put all identical cars on the track and let the university design their own power system. And when the green flag drops, you know, the noise stops. And we want to know at the end that somebody's designed a better power system, not that they had a better wing or a bigger tire or a different ground effect. And obviously, you've got some great young minds behind these cars. Uh, you've gone to the universities, and I would think that their help is, uh, it is very critical for the future of this kind of power. Well, it's terrific, and our goal, Dave, is to have something uh, for the university engineering schools to have a competition. I mean, they compete in football, they compete in baseball. Let's compete in major league auto racing with the university. I've been pretty intrigued as we talked with some of the crew guys about their enthusiasm for this. There's every bit as much spirit of competition over there in the electric pits as there are in the midget pits here tonight. Oh, you bet. I think uh, they're they love IRP. They're so happy with USAC and Electricor. They're just having a great night. And I think we're seeing the start of something important. We need jobs in America. We need nice cars. We need excitement. And, and it's here. And we got a pretty good battle for the lead going on as well. That's Ernie Holden who helped put this thing together as the electric cars make their inaugural run here at Indianapolis Raceway Park. They get slower as they go. Is that the way that works? Well, usually, but I don't know if somebody's lagging behind. Uh, there are some new things out, like the passenger. Somebody might put a real fast move on at the end. I see. So somebody could be saving a little. How about that move? Gary and Larry, this is way cool. That's called a racing sandwich right there. And the problem is, with no sound, you can't hear a guy coming up behind you. You have to use the mirrors. No, they've actually said that uh, they're going to try to put some sort of things on here called Eco Shriek, so you can hear these things running, because they've almost run over some corner workers on the road courses. <laughs> Well, Ohio State University right now is leading. That is Craig Taylor, the AC propulsion. He has the lead being chased by the Notre Dame injury. Now, here is a replay. A slower car out in front. Notre Dame goes high. Ohio State goes low. A sandwich right there. He just had enough room to squeeze that number seven car in there. He certainly did. And uh, Ohio State moved right back up in front of him, cut him off going into the corner. I tell you what, these are neat cars to run, you know. And people do things in these cars just like they do in real race cars. Uh, Stan Fox was supposed to drive one of these cars, and he was calling all over the place. He had Hero Matsusips trying to get some hot batteries for him all the way from, from Japan. <laughs> some some, some cheater batteries. batteries, you know, just like everybody else. And uh, they've also got another little deal on there that you could, they call it jump the controller. It's, it's kind of like giving a shot of nitro, but you want to use it on the last straightaway because it blows the batteries out, <laughs> and then you're all history. Well, the fastest qualifiers, the two fastest qualifiers, are now running at the front of the pack. And right now, Notre Dame is running in second position, but there can't be sandbagging because the batteries do wear down. You can save something for the end. That's right. If you, have, uh, if you are economical, if you use just enough power to leave a big burst, 
at the end just like a, a runner would who runs a three uh, the four forties at one certain speed and runs the last lap at the fastest they can you know that could be what they're trying to do here look at that and there goes notre dame on the high side <laughs> there goes oh my there goes ohio state the low side the, the one interesting thing about this gary is you don't have to use sign language if you don't like what the other guy's doing you can just yell over and call yeah. him or whatever call you want him to. A name. he can hear you <laughs> they can hear the pa announcer down the front straightaway we have 12 laps in three laps to go we drove one of these cars yesterday it's amazing how quiet it is and how much you miss the noise you missed the reference as we were driving through the little road course down here in turn one you missed the reference as to what's going on with the, the speed well this is the electrocore Series and Electricor is a consortium of AC Delco Systems, Allison Transmission, PCI Energy, Indianapolis Power and Light, Northern Indiana Public Service Company, and Indiana Michigan Power. So all Indiana companies are providing the, the funding for this series. And we can see six or eight of these races next year in support of like NASCAR, IndyCar, maybe back here at Raceway Park. Yes, and it's nice to see all these companies getting involved, trying to uh, give us some new sources of power, new energy for racing. Uh, some of them are going very well. Everybody told us that Notre Dame was the man, the, the team to beat, that they had the really hot car. Let me tell you what, this Ohio State injury seems to be just blowing them away right now. Well, maybe Notre Dame has lost the battery. The Energizer Bunny is finally <laughs> dying out. I don't see these anybody are, with a drum out there. These so. are all these are all Stewart chassis manufactured in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. In fact, the rolling chassis costs about twenty-nine thousand dollars. Anytime you add the batteries, it can cost as much as a thousand dollars a piece. And some of these cars have twenty-six batteries on them. You add the motor, not an engine, a motor. You got about fifty thousand dollars tied up. And look at this. Here comes the checkered flag and a lot of jubilation right there. Ohio State. Craig Taylor takes the victory out of Columbus, Ohio. In car number three, he was the uh, second fastest qualifier, but he takes the victory here in a smart drive. And I tell you what, some heads up moving traffic. Yes, he did a great job driving that car because I'll tell you what, the corner speeds are pretty high on these things. And you uh, you do have to halfway drive them around the corners. As we took down in turn three, though, I, I see one of them that didn't have the Energizer battery in there. That baby's dead down here in turn three. He's not when you take a look at the qualifying speeds, actually, Mark Volkert in the Notre Dame entry was three miles an hour faster in qualifying than Craig Taylor. So, in fact, did they run out of battery? Well, there's some efficiency. I mean, you've got to make the thing run so many laps at such and such a speed. So there's efficiency really involved, and that's why the university is involved. They want to try to get these things going. And here we see the one who's uh, the dead Energizer battery. Well, the Goodyear Eagles are not a problem. Tire wear is never a problem, but uh, you can run out of batteries here at Indianapolis Raceway Park in this electric racing. We're coming back. Back live at Indianapolis Raceway Park. First time ever on live television. The Formula Lightning Cars, the University Division, and Ohio State takes the victory with Craig Taylor. Notre Dame was second with Mark Fulkert. And then uh, Croser, McGovern, and Mendelssohn rounding out the top five. And the uh, remaining number four and number six was uh, Burt Young, then Richard Harrison, Jim Hershaw, and Gene Cosmano. We've got a quick congratulations that we want to do here to uh, to Craig Taylor, who won the electric car race. First of all, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It's a wonderful experience, and I got a team back there of engineers from OSU. They're absolutely phenomenal. And uh, one thing I'd like to point out: Electromotive sponsored Electric Core, pardon me, sponsored this race for the electric cars. And because of USAC and IRP, they put us in on a very unusual venue. That's the biggest thing that's ever happened to the University Electric Car Project. And because of people like. U.S. USAC, Electricor, and especially IRP that made this possible. Thank you. Alan Engelman is the executive director of Electricor, and she extends her congratulations. And you're sitting there wondering, why is Brian Herta sitting there in the middle of this party? That was your ride, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, I, unfortunately, when I got hurt, I lost the ride with AJ for a little while. I'm going to come back to that car, but uh, Craig, Craig did a great job substituting here for me, and uh, I'm just so happy for the guys at Ohio State because they worked so hard on that car. You're wondering why this good-looking kid's got that raspy voice. It's because those tubes they put down his throat for all the surgery. Everybody's wondering how you're getting along after the big Indy car crash and the injuries. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. There's a little more of me right now, but uh, everything looks great, and I'm out and about and uh, looking maybe to get back in the car by the end of the season. So just can't wait to get back. That's great news. We're anxious to see you back. Congratulations, Craig and Alan.